Here's a tutorial on how to create this dynamic photo carousel using CapCut. First, open the CapCut app and click New Project. Go to Library and search for White Background. You have your choice if you will use this white background or you can add your custom background. In my case, I will use this custom fashion background since this is a fashion template. Now proceed to adding your first overlay. Tap it and go to mask. Go to rectangle and set the size to 999. After that, go to round corners and set it to 20%. Resize the overlay photo based on your liking to match the background now go to overlay and add your second photo do exactly the same go to mask go to rectangle set the size to 999 and the round corners to 20 percent after that resize the photo overlay and put it on the side now tap the overlay again and add your third photo. Just do exactly what you did on the first and second photo. Just go to mask, size to 999, and round corners to 20%. Resize the photo and put it out of the screen. After that, tap your first photo, add your first and second keyframes, followed by another keyframes to add that pop-up zoom effect. Now add your last keyframes while resizing it on its normal size and put it on the side. Now proceed to your second photo overlay, tap it, add starting keyframes, add the following keyframes just like what you did on the first photo overlay. After you put all the necessary keyframes that you need for the template, tap the photo overlay and now adjust it at the center. After that, tap the third and last photo do exactly what you did on the first and second photo for the keyframes and adjust it at the side. Now on each photo, add an ending keyframes and manually adjust it out of the frame on the side and at the center. To spice up your template, you can add an effects. Go to body effects, go to stroke, and choose light dissolve. After you apply the effects, just tap the effects, go to objects, and apply it on your first photo. Now duplicate your effects, align it to the second photo, tap object, and apply it to the second overlay. Now duplicate it again, align it to the third photo, tap object, and apply it to the third overlay. To complete your photo carousel interface, you can add stickers. In my case, I will add this previous and next arrows. Adjust your added stickers on the screen to match the background interface. You can also add text that matches your interface. In my case, I will add this tap outfit pics. You can also add this cursor sticker to complete your interface. In this case, I'll put it out of the frame, add a starting and ending keyframe, apply graphs to make the transition smooth, point the cursor to your photo, add another keyframe, and tilt the stickers. When your cursor is pointed to the next photo, just repeat the process of applying keyframes, tilt the sticker, until you finish the third and last photo and your template should look like this. Follow for more CapCut tutorials.